Hi Bridges Conference. I'm very sad we cannot all be together this year, but I'm hoping everyone is happy and healthy and doing okay. And hopefully next year we can all be together again. Um, I brought you in my studio to show you how I make my new uh, quadrilateral lace drawings. I, I chose three quadrilaterals to work with, the square, the rhombus, and a trapezoid. This particular trapezoid, I call it trisosceles trapezoid because three of the sides are equal, and I made the, the fourth side half length. So we'll start with the squares. And the way I did these drawings is I outlined each of the sides of the square with a set of points. And this, in this case, for this square, it's seven points per side. And I do a mapping for each point leading to another point that's n plus one points away. So this is n equals seven, seven, seven points. So one goes to nine, and two would go to 10, and three would go to 11. And when I go all the way around, I end up with this little shape. And for the, for the um, rhombus, which by the way is a 120, 30, 120 rhombus, in this case, I get this. For the trapezoid, we get this. Um, because one of the sides is different, the points are closer together on the smaller side, or half the, half the distance apart from the trapezoid. But these are all n equals seven quadrilaterals, but I could use more points or less points on each side. So I can do an n equals nine, and n equals five, and then I can layer them. So this is an, uh, an n, nine, n seven, n five, all centered within each other. But they don't necessarily have to be centered I could put all of the overlapping squares lined up along one of, the, one of the corners. So what can I do with this? So here's a drawing where all of the squares are centered inside each other. Here's a drawing where they're just along diagonal, two, di two diagonal corners. And here's one where I put an extra overlap in all four corners. And here's one where I do alternating corners. So it can get it can get more intense or less intense depending on where you overlap the shapes. Now here we here's things I can do with the box. Okay. So this is um, N9, N7, N5 all center. Let's see some drawings. Here's where they're overlapping, like a pillar. Here's a set where the overlapping is just all on one half in one corner of the rhombus. This is just a set of overlapping rhombuses, four rows. And here it's used to make a cube. Okay. All of these drawings are going to be on my website too. For you to look at closely. More closely. Okay. And here is the, the rhombus. Oh, the trapezoid. And here we have an N7 and an N5 inside each other. And here they're just alternating, the trapezoid. And here's one where only one set, every other row has overlapping ones. And now this is some new work. Now this is, has both a trapezoid and a rhombus a different angled rhombus, but still it's got a rhombus inside. So I'm, I'm starting to interact with two different quadrilaterals in each drawing. And here's one more of those. You'll get a much better look if you look on my website, coverset.net, you'll see all these drawings closer. And I'm looking forward to seeing what all of you will put on the internet. Thank you very much.